Okay, we're back. Um, <clears throat> this first series of tutorials is going to focus on the design of it, uh, designing the bucket, the hinge, the arm, the support, the basket, and finally the chute, uh, and how I use a bunch of different techniques in order to get the final result for this trebuchet. Um, I've started a blank project, calling it tutorials, and then I'm going to have an open, a blank uh, file open. Uh, just so that we're all on the same starting point. Uh, and for that, since we're going to start with the bucket, uh, I think the most straightforward approach uh, is the best for the first one, and that's to create a sketch. And then just uh, for me, I just kind of drew a shape that I felt looked most bucket-like. Uh, and then I'm going to use the offset in order to create the interior line. And I'm going to make for me, uh, five millimeters uh, in the negative, uh, I feel is more, for me, more appropriate. So that's what I'm going to choose to do. Then I'm going to close off these tops so that I get a complete, um, a complete bot, uh, complete sketch. Um, and the reason why I chose to do offset instead of instead of doing it manually is because it maintains the distance between these two lines better than I could probably do by hand. Um, and then I'm going to move into the press pull uh, modifier and bring it out. I'm going to bring mine out 25 millimeters in both directions. So I'm going to choose symmetric and leave it at new body and keep the distance what I've already uh, defined it as. Then I'm going to do a very similar um, approach again go back to sketch uh, this is the this button automatically is a line and that's appropriate for this scenario because I am going to create a line but other times I will just go straight into the sketch and then decide how I'm going to go for it from there um, now with the viewing angle as it is I can't I can select the one I want but I'm going to show you that if you just if you have things overlapping, an easy way to get to the things that are on a lower uh, layer. Hold down, left click, and then you can select between um, all the things that are available. So I'm going to pick that work plane, and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to trace this outside line one more time, but I'm going to create a closed loop, and then I'm going to actually build this out a little more and you can see that I didn't quite center my object or all these um, aren't on the center so I'm going to select them all and then move them into the position I really want which is going to be a negative 2.5 that will actually center it um, between these points. Uh, there's another way you can do this too if you want to use constraints. I th think this will work, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm going to do a horizontal constraint on this and on this. And now they should be perfectly lined up. Um, and then I'm actually going to create a... I'm going to hit C is the hotkey but it's basically circle and then center diameter circle so I can grab the center create a diameter of 15 millimeters and drag that out and then I like to have my sketches fairly clean so I'm just going to trim the parts of this that I don't need for um, the construction of this shape and with that done I'll stop my sketch you can see that it's in the center and that's not necessarily where I want it in the end. I'm actually going to use these to create the walls on either side. So they're going to want to be on this outer edge. And since I didn't, by default, select this outer edge, and I did that on purpose because I want to show you how to use the mirror modifier uh, to create something. But until then, first we will drag this out. I want five millimeters. Oh, sorry. I, I did that too quick, uh, and I forgot to change it so that it was a new body <clears throat> instead of a cut. 
at, and that is what I want it to be at. And right now you can see it intersects, it's weird, doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm gonna do move, I'm gonna select the whole body, and if it's not by default on um, move bodies and sketches, then switch it to right now. Uh, sometimes it's on move components, uh, I'm not really totally sure why. I'm gonna drag it out and see that I need to have it at 25, uh, millimeters so I'm just gonna type that in and get it set up and then I'm gonna select that body create mirror and then I'm gonna select my mirror plane and it'll automatically finish that shape off for me and now I have my bucket shape uh, completed so in the next one uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up the how to, how to build a uh, swinging hinge uh, to connect the bucket to the arm. So I'll see you in just a moment.